All right, this is gonna be a video on how to install drivers for these little Wi-Fi dongles here. They are driverless. Um, this is Amazon. And they are very cheap, as you can see. And I had a bit of trouble trying to get them going. There is actually quite a bit of support for these things. And so let's just go right into it. Now, I'm going to need to get into the terminal. Where am I? Okay. Now, the first thing we're going to need is Net Tools. Now, probably already have that. So, APT install Net Tools. Yes, I don't. Okay. All right. Now this is the actual little device that we're going to be installing the driver for. Uh, and we'll put an antenna on it. We've got a few to pick from here. And the reason that they come driverless is because you can actually do that. You can put an antenna on it. Uh, this one right here is a non-removable type and it just plugs in and it works because it never has to worry about being attached to maybe say an antenna you know like this big versus the one that it has all right now after that we're going to figure out what this little USB device is named so let's get an antenna on it get ready to plug it in. We're not going to plug it in just yet. We're going to run LSUSB. Oops. All right. And this is listing all of our USB devices, whatever we have plugged in, uh, keyboard, mouse, and then also these root hubs. We don't need to worry about that. So I'm going to plug this guy in now. Let's run the command again. All right, oopsie, now we can see that it is right here. Okay, this Realtek semiconductor group, or core, whatever. Now, we can see if the driver for it is actually on and going right now. Um, typically, like there's a light on the thing. I don't know if you can see that little, yeah, that little guy right there. It's an LED and when it's working, the LED will blink. Uh, I can't see right now underneath the desk. So we're going to run LSHW. All right, now this, actually, we're going to run sudo LSHW because otherwise it would just tell us that we should. And now in here is a whole bunch of information, and we're looking for a particular thing that says configuration and capabilities has to do with wireless stuff. No file system, partition, all kinds of things. Controller, controls. It's all right, we'll find it. There's actually a way to run this command so you don't get all of this stuff, and we'll do that here in a minute too. USB mouse keyboard USB controller USB controller uh, just express keep scrolling okay here's the actual device right here USB unclaimed which I'm presuming means that the driver is not working right now okay this is him right here. We can scroll up. We can actually find the Ethernet. Because that's the only other one that we have right now. Settings, is this it? Well, it's the CPU. Maybe I went past it. 
anyways let's go back down There it is right here, underneath network interface. Okay, so when the driver is working, we will see that device underneath of the network right here, okay? Which we currently do not see. So now we're going to install the driver. Let's run this uh, LSUSB command again. Now this particular driver is indicated right here all right and what you can do is you can actually just copy this control shift C go into a new tab and we'll look up um, I don't know uh, Wi-Fi driver okay and then we will actually get a ton of information about this because it is a somewhat common thing. But you don't have to go through this. I'm going to lead you through the actual process, which is this right here. These are the exact commands that we're going to run right now. All right, go away, cookies. All right. So, first of all, we're going to update and upgrade. Anyways, I'm pretty sure that we're updated and upgraded. All right, now we're going to run this command. sudo apt install, what is that? Build essentials git dkms and bc. Likely have all of these already. Oh, we're missing some of these. Now it's asking us to clone into the repo. Now, if you were installing this on a computer that didn't already have internet, like what we're doing right now, where we have the internet, we're downloading all of this stuff, you would basically have to get this repo, and then I assume these dependencies and then copy them to the device. This git repo would be very easy. It's just a file uh, structure and these drivers you could probably would probably exist in a zip form and that would be easy enough. You just unzip it and then run them. But since we have the internet it makes it much easier. So we're going to just go ahead, we'll copy this, whatever. And then we will we're gonna make a directory. Uh, we're going to call it uh, Wi-Fi driver, I guess. Okay. All right, now we're going to run this command. Git clone into github.com brec trow rtl 88c1 or 21cu.git. Okay. This will take just a second. Okay. Now. We're going to change into that directory. We're going to add executable permissions to the install script. And then we're going to run the DKMS install script. So let's just copy this one because I don't feel like typing everything. Okay. And then it was what? it. Let's double check. Oh, we want to run it as sudo, of course. Okay. All right, now this will take just a few minutes to complete.
now, at this point, let's run our command again because we may actually have to unplug and then plug the USB back in. <clears throat> so let's run the uh, LSHW, but we're going to do dash capital C network. I think not capital. So as you can see, we still only have our interface or Ethernet interface. If we run the, uh, the regular LSHW command and then scroll way back up, we can find our USB device. Make sure that it's just still there. I'm sure it is. USB 1, USB 0, generic USB, real tech. Okay, here it is. All right. Now, let's unplug and then plug the USB back in. Oh, actually, yeah, let's do that. checking here on my uh, Wi-Fi network screen and I am shown networks so let's run this command again ah now you can see we have the Ethernet interface and wireless interface we are now on the internet or at least we are ready to connect to some kind of a uh, Wi-Fi Yeah, I mean, that's it. We're, uh, we could, uh, here, I'll unhook the Ethernet, and so that one's removed, and then we're just on the, uh, okay. Okay, so the Ethernet is removed. Let's run this command again, and we should only see our wireless driver. Oh, I guess the interface is still there. Let's go to my connection info. Maybe I can just get a... Oh yeah, I have config. Well, I guess I have config would show a whole bunch of stuff. But basically, the Ethernet is unplugged. We're going to select a Wi-Fi network here. So, I mean, it's working right now. Let's, uh, I guess let's run it again. Maybe it has to update. Maybe it's just going to stay on there, but it won't tell us. Let's, um, I have config. All right, this is our wireless one. It's WLXA. Here's our Ethernet. Seeing all this, I might not show you all of this, but that's it. We're on that. Let's go to the internet. Let's uh, here, let's go back. Let's uh, click something else. There we go, we got it. Now, I do have another one, this little green thing, and I'm, I'm almost guessing that it's probably just going to be the exact same process but it might be a slightly different driver. Um, I might record that and then splice that onto this just for extra, for extraness. All right, there you go. All right, I'm 
until next time.